Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I made this awesome fantasy piece. We're gonna get right into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So here we are. I actually totally forgot to record this as I had masked her out. Um, yeah, just fault on my part. I didn't really even know what I was gonna do with this yet. I was doing a lot of playing around with it. So you guys are gonna see me kind of all over the place here. It was really interesting because, I did, again, I didn't know what I was gonna do with it. So I went ahead and added some jellyfish because a fantasy concept kind of came to my head like, hmm, would a fantasy world look pretty cool? I didn't wanna, really go all into that so I'm like I kind of wanted to find something simple but something that would really pop because I wanted to really more so time myself on it uh, then don't, don't like spending too much time on different compositions not really an issue with spending a lot of time on it it's just something personal like personal goals I want to get with finishing nice images but in a timely manner so this one right here took about maybe an hour to do. I'm really proud of myself for being able to get it done in an hour, but a lot of it actually was, since I didn't know where I wanted to go with this project, it was a lot of searching for different images, seeing what looked good, what didn't look good, um, and just a whole lot of playing around with it because again, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it, but I did have the idea of just some fantasy concepts. So, one fantasy concept is jellyfish out of the water just flying around. And I thought that would give also some really nice glows to it and really make it pop. So right now you just see me grabbing all the images that I wanna use in it before I go ahead and start adding the shadows and everything else using the adjustment layers. So as I'm doing this, I will allow you guys to watch and have fun.
so right here we're gonna go in and start adding a glow effect so what I went ahead and did was for each jellyfish I created a smart object use that layer turn that layer into a smart object and went ahead and went up to Gaussian blur and blurred it out well you also need to duplicate it duplicate each layer add the Gaussian blur everything else and it starts to give that faded well, like in the glow effect to it and it really looks good then you know went ahead and added the hue and saturation so that there would really be some color added to it so now we're here at you got to add the shadows and then the colors to really make it pop because light doesn't just stick onto whatever is projecting it it also hits different um, objects surrounding it so at, for right now we have a person and some trees and bushes so we have to create that light and let it bounce off of this person that we have here and you know for people that are pretty experienced in using Photoshop you would already understand that but for those that don't I'm letting you know that when you're creating when you have light there you have to get it to bounce off to make it look realistic I know I'm probably not using the most technical terms but you get what I'm saying when you sit and watch so again we've got the light here the jellyfish they're glowing we want them to glow as nice as possible but also what really sells the picture isn't the glowing jellyfish it's the light that bounces off of the objects that it projects it to so again we have the woman and the trees and then what really makes it pop is when we add the dark areas and give it some contrast So right here, as I talked about a little bit earlier, we need to start adding contrast to the image to really darken everything else, but at the same time to allow the jellyfish and the light that it projects to really pop and create that nice glow look that everyone loves. So yeah, we're gonna go in, add some contrast to it and with stuff like that, you just kind of have to go with whatever looks best for you. Um, and then here, what I like to do is to also add a little bit more light. I take a blank layer, set the layer style to overlay and get a white brush and just paint over different spots. And it creates a really nice light and glow effect that makes everything pop a little bit more but you don't want to add too much because it can kind of overdo it as I did a few times then I went back and adjusted it and right here it needed to we need particles anytime you're doing fantasy effects and stuff like that it just wouldn't look right without particles so I went in um, went on the internet and got grabbed some particles 
when you're using a image with a black background, a good way to take that out is by setting the mode to well layer style or not layer style, but yeah, the layer mode to screen. Um, so I went in and did that, added it to screen, and here we are putting those particles on each one, and then we are practically done. And there we have it guys i really hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified for my latest content again thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video check out some of these also don't forget to subscribe